Hello and welcome to Cenos Training Course Lesson 4 from CAD Geometry Setup. A very easy way to prepare 3D simulations in Cenos is using from CAD approach. In this lesson, we will learn on how to import, generate, and process our system geometry to eventually prepare it for the physics setup. As an example, a simple single shot hardening system of a CV joint will be used. First, we need to select our geometry creation approach from CAD. Then we select the physics, and now we can import the CAD files of our system. We just click here on the folder icon and find our CAD files. In this case, I have three separate CAD files for my workpiece, inductor and concentrators. But if you like, you can also import all of them as one single assembly in one single step file. Then you simply just select all CAD files and click open. Once the CAD files are imported and processed, you will need to generate an airbox if you haven't imported it separately. Click continue and select both inductor terminals for reference, like this. Once done, click create air domain and Cenos will automatically generate it. Once the air is generated, the geometry window will appear. Here in the preview window, you can see the full geometry and here on the right is the full list of all the volumes that we have in our geometry. First thing we need to do is to group and name all of our volumes. Let's start with the airbox. You can select it either from the preview screen like this or directly from the list, if you know which one it is. Then just double click on the name and rename to air. Now we can disable the vis visibility for air and name our system. Select our workpiece, double click and rename it. Do the same for the inductor as well. Now all that is left are the concentrators. As we have six different volumes, we can group them together to make things easier. Just select all of them, click Merge and rename the newly created group just as the rest of them. After the volumes are done, we need to do the same naming and grouping for boundary surfaces as well. Let's start with the inductor. Click Edit Boundaries and you will be redirected inside the inductor volume. Here we can see all inductor faces and we need to rename the ones that we are going to use. For the inductor, we only need the inductor terminals. So we select one of them from the screen, find it in the list and rename it. Then we do the same for the other one as well. Once done, click Domains to get back to the Volume Selection screen. We need to repeat this for the Workpiece and Air Domains as well. For the Workpiece, we go inside the Boundaries, select all of them and click Merge. Here we do this because for the Workpiece we only need to define the thermal losses, which are occurring through the surface or the outer surface of the part. Rename the group. and get back to the volume window. For airbox, we need to define the outer boundary or far field. So from the screen, we select all six outer surfaces of the box. Hold shift to select multiple surfaces as, one, as once, then merge them, find the new group, and rename them. You pro probably noticed that we didn't define all surfaces and we define nothing for the concentrators. This is because here you need to define only the boundaries that you will use in physics. For example, if we don't calculate the heating for inductor or concentrators, we don't need additional definitions for heat exchange. Once the volumes and surfaces are named and grouped, we need to choose roles for them. Simply click on choose role and select the appropriate role for the domain. 
So with the concentrators, we will go for concentrators. For inductor, we will go with inductor. Workpiece, workpiece. And air domain, well, yes, air box. As the rolls are selected, go to physics button will become active and you can click it to move to the physics definition. This is the end of the fourth lesson about geometry setup in FromCAD approach. Thanks for watching.